<laughs> What's up, YouTube friends? Welcome to another episode of Questions from the Truck, and this is number three of 2020. Yeah, 2020. Wow. Hey, we're going to do a little different this week because I have no questions from you guys, but I have questions, so don't worry about that. But we're going to do... It's cold, man. I got my heavy jacket on. It's like 20-something out with like a wind chill of like 15. I know that's nothing for you guys up in Canada. But down here, man, I'm cold. Hey, I'm going to start the show off with shout-outs. And my first shout-out goes to the Nearly Historical Railroad, Don over there. I don't know how I found his channel, whether it was through... Uh, Wilmer's Not Bads and shout outs or through a live stream he popped in I can't remember but he's got an awesome channel a lot of cool content his layout is like really really nice um, what I like I like I love his layout but what I think is really cool is the outside of the buildings that or he's got like, I think it's his dad's property, but I'm not really sure. There's a wood shop and his train layout. And I'm gathering that they're going to do some like open houses. Um, but it's all set up as like an old western style buildings. Like the one building has like saloon on it. And they're really awesome. He did a, they did an awesome job on those buildings, the outside. I really like those. So, go check out Don's channel, The Nearly Historical Railroad. It's, uh, it's a great channel. He's got some great videos up there. And my next one goes out to Andy Wellman. Andy, I'm glad you didn't get rid of your channel like you were going to do back a couple months ago. I'm glad you're still around and still doing some awesome stuff. Go check out Andy's channel. And my next shout-out goes to Rick Bailey. Uh, we all know him. We all love him. He's been hard at it, making videos. Uh, go support Rick and get his channel going. Get some, get his sub count higher. And my last is a double shout out, sort of. It's for the Roundhouse community, and that is. Consists of Schuylkill River Valley, John over there, and Brian over at uh, Denver Rio Grande Western Iron Horse Iron Iron Horse Route. Hope I got that right, Brian. But this show is going to be once a month, and it's going to be on Wednesdays. And they had their first show this past Friday night. Yeah, before Cousin Vinny's show. Um, man, that was an awesome show. I can't wait for the next one. I can't wait for this month to go by. But I'll put links down to everybody's channel below. And you guys go check them out. Make sure you check them out and subscribe to them. So that brings me to... Uh, sorry about that. That brings me to the rest of this show. So how this show usually works is you guys have questions. I find you answers. Everybody answers in the comments below. And I get to answers to your questions. Model railroading, railroading, if you have some railroading questions, or even some woodworking questions for me or for you guys out there to answer. So that's how this show works. So my question this week for you guys is, your model railroading details. How how important are the details on your layout? Um, in other words, like scenery. Is it like important to have on your layout? Do you think it's uh, do you think it's a necessary part of the railroad? Um, I know a lot of guys, you know, and I noticed. Especially when I went to some open houses uh, this past Christmas time. We have a lot of open houses. And I noticed um, there were a few that didn't have any scenery at all. 
And for me, I don't care. You know, I just like watching trains run. Uh, scenery's cool, but I just like watching trains run. And I can remember guys commenting um, at other layouts that I saw these same people at that so-and-so didn't, you know, I went to a layout and there was nothing on it, you know, and I've been to this layout like, I don't know, four or five times in the last four or five years and nothing's changing. But, uh, so that's it. How important is scenery on your layout? And, uh, how detailed do you like to get? I mean, I enjoy seeing all the detail. Sometimes there's so much detail you can't take it all in in a little bit of time that you're there. But uh, let me know what you think. And, ah, I almost forgot. Jim Tedesco, I got a question for you, man. I watched your video on this, this stuff, Shaper Sheet. It made me pick up a roll, a Yankee Dabbler, the other day. And, um... I watched your video, and I gotta ask you, is it, like, do you just use this and just do a little blending at the bottom where this meets your layout, where, like, you're with sculpt mold You don't put sculpt mold all over this stuff, right? You just paint this stuff once you shape it the way you want. What I want to do is right now, I want to do like a little diorama for, uh, and I want to use this in it. And, uh, yeah. So, Jim, let me know. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all your, uh, your views and comments. And as always, I wish you a blessed week this coming week. Enjoy your week. Take care if you're where it's cold. Stay warm. See you guys. Oh.